What is going on? Welcome everyone to this live stream where we're going to be talking about tutorials. We're going to be looking at some of your tricks. We're going to be talking about mentalism, hypnosis. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, welcome, welcome everybody. So just before we get started, I have one quick visual test. Uh, for you guys here, uh, this is something I'm just doing one quick test. I've got one of my uh, texts on the phone here. I just want to make sure everything looks good for you guys. So you guys can watch this as well. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but cards, playing cards have settings, just like a camera has settings. So you could change the way certain things look. And I just want to make sure everything looks really good. So I've got, can you hear me? Oh, good. Okay. Do you see four aces? on the table. Yeah. Okay, good. And then if I do that, that's the ace of diamonds. You can see that. Excellent. And if I do this, that's the ace of spades. And can you see the whole ace of spades? Good. That's wonderful. So you see the whole, the whole thing, right? Great. Now here's the thing. One of these cards, I'm going to do it this way. So you guys can see one of these cards is a little bit brighter than the other ones. That one, it's a little bit more pink. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you could see that it's a little, but it's okay because I could fix it. I'm going to fix it. Check it out. If I just give it a bit of a shake like this, that should totally fix it. How does that look? It's what? It's blue? What? Why is it blue? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I can fix it. Watch. I can fix it. I'll, I'll give it another shake like this. And if that worked, it should now be... What is that? It's green? A, a what? There's a piece missing? What piece? That's not a full card? Uh... What, what camera setting even does that? This is weird. So wait, what you're telling me is one of these cards is pink now. One of them is blue. One of them is green with a missing corner. Where are the red ones? Here? No, that one's not red. Look, it says so on the back, not red. Um, okay, this is weird. I don't, I don't know how we're going to do this. Just kidding, guys. That was a trick for you guys to get you started. This isn't even connected to anything. Welcome to the stream. I'm so happy you guys are here. A couple of rules before we get started. First of all, I could see in the comments that a lot of you are chatting. Let's please leave the comments section on, I don't know which side, I don't even know what's happening. Um, let's leave the comments section for discussions pertaining to the content, please. Don't have other discussions. It's going to get too cluttered. We're going to be blocking you if you guys are talking about all kinds of other nonsense. Um, give me a thumbs up. Now there's a few people in the studio. Give me a thumbs up. If you see me, give me a thumbs up. Oh, good. Good. Give me, give me one of these, your camera. I see Thomas. I see Anant. do this. If you could good, good. Okay. So guys, if you're on the YouTube stream, um, I want to clarify a couple of things. I'm going to tell you in a second how you can join me in the studio because I want to see your magic as well. We're going to get that in a second. Again, please, for the comments, let's keep it relevant to what's happening. When the stream is done, you guys can talk about whatever you want in the comments. I don't care. But right now, we're going to keep it relevant to the content. The stream is going to be about an hour. If it goes a little bit more, that's fine, too. I'm going to tell you in a minute how you guys can join me here. We're going to talk about some new tutorials in this video. I'm going to teach you a couple of cool things. We're going to talk about some variations on some of the other tutorials we've done on the channel because I know you guys love your tutorials. So uh, let us let me tell you guys right now, um, yes, I will be keeping it. I will be keeping it live on YouTube like a video. So when this is done, if you guys can't be here for the whole thing, you can come back and, uh, and see it. Oh. So let me tell you guys how to join me in the studio. Now, there's a couple of rules to join me in the studio. I, I already have a few people in here, so these rules won't apply to them, but... If you're going to come into the studio, which I'm going to tell you how to do right now, there's a few things. First, please have a trick ready because only 10 people can join me in the studio at a time. So please have a trick ready to show us if you're going to come into the studio. If you don't and you're in the studio now, please leave to leave some room for someone. Uh, but don't come in here if you don't have a trick to show us because we want to see some magic. Second of all, there's a few people here I could tell are under the age of 15. But if you're going to try to join us in the studio... I'm going to ask that you're 15 or over. The ones who are already here who aren't 15, it's fine. But if you're going to join from this point in time on, you have to be at least 15 years old. And finally, you have to have a mic with stable internet connection. Uh, sorry, a video with camera with 
stable internet connection and a mic so that I can hear you. So here's how you come to the studio. There's already five people in here. So happy to see you guys. At the bottom of the description, there's a link. It starts with the word stream yard. Click that. Nine of you are going to be allowed to come in. If it says you can't come in, it's because it's already full. So if you guys hit that, I could see a couple of people in here already. Again, make sure you have a mic. Otherwise, I'm going to have to kick you out. Um, all right. So you guys are jumping in here. And make sure you have a trick to show us because I want to see some magic today. And I'm going to show you guys some stuff as well. So we're going to bring in a guest right now who was in here before anybody else. He was patiently waiting. He looks like he's got some magic ready for us. So he's going to show us some stuff. Then I'm going to show you guys some stuff. So uh, Lucas, let's bring Lucas in. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey. Lucas, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, hold on. It seems like I froze there for a sec. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. It was for a while frozen, but now you're good. Okay, guys. Okay, here's what's happening. We're having a serious lag because a lot of people are trying to enter the stream. So, guys, the stream is now full. Oh, my God. You guys are crazy. This is going to keep lagging because you guys are sending the requests in. Okay, guys. <laughs> wow. Guys, we have to stop. Otherwise, it's going to be very laggy. I don't know what this is. Give me a sec. Yeah, it's it's getting overwhelmed because too many people are trying to join the stream. Um, hold on. Yeah, I know, I know. Give it a sec. Guys, you have to stop. Otherwise, it's going to lag. The, the studio is full. We can't take anyone in anymore. Oh no, this is ridiculous. Guys, you have to stop trying to get in the studio, it's full. It's not gonna work and it's slowing down the whole stream. I can't even, like, I'm, I'm so lagged, it's ridiculous. Technology is failing us, correct. I could put that up, but... <laughs> Can't even see me in real time. You know what, guys? I'm going to reset my camera because this is crazy. That's fine. That's fine. Let's stick around. No, my camera is fine. It's not the camera. It's that, it's that everyone's trying to get in on the stream. It's, it's guys, you have to stop get trying to get on the stream. Okay, you know what? I have to, I have to go delete the... I don't get what, what's... Guys, stop it. It's full in here. Just stop clicking the link, everyone. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do the stream. I'm going to have to stop. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to go to my webcam for now, even if it's going to look really bad, just because I, I can't... Um... Your audio is not good anymore. I can see you more. Here, let's... Hold on. Is that better? I mean, I know the quality is not as good. We're going to go back to the other one in a minute, but I just want to get, because everything is dying. Because so many people are trying to come in. They're still trying. Guys, stop hitting the link. Okay, you know what? I'm going to delete the link. One sec. Yeah. Guys, I really do appreciate the enthusiasm, but if you keep doing this, the stream's not going to work. Alright, people. Okay, I've deleted the link. Hopefully, in a second. Yeah, you're you're, you're better now. Now I see that your mouse is moving correctly in the Okay. Shall I begin? Yeah, one sec, guys. Yeah, I, I've removed the link, except for for some people, it's still there because they don't refresh the page so they could see it. Guys, you have to stop clicking the link. It's very important. Let me try to go back to my other. This is crazy. I got to figure out a different way to do it next time. Too many people are trying to get in here. Sorry, guys. Didn't know. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's still from like half an hour ago. Oh, my Lordy. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to reset my camera. One sec. Okay, I'm going to do that. 
Guys, please listen. It's very important. Please stop hitting the link. There are people here who want to who want to share their magic. We want to get on with the stream, and you guys are just keep hitting the link. It's not going to work. Stop. It's full. The link doesn't work anymore. So just please stop. Uh, there are a lot of people who are getting frustrated, and I understand. We're trying to get on with the stream. Thank you. That's still very lag. Okay, Lucas, here's what we're going to do, man. We're going to watch your trick, and then we're going to figure out, in the meantime, what's happening with my camera. So, Lucas, take it away. We are watching you. Do you have something ready for us? Yes, I have two tricks, actually. Let's do How many? Two. Two. Okay, let's start with one. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I have here a little dice box. As you can see, there are different numbers on it, correct? I see the dice box, Lucas. And it's a real, real, correct? Yeah, 100%. I want to place a lid on. I'm going to shake the box. I'm going to take a quick look. It doesn't work. Okay. Perfect. Okay. What do you think the numbers are? Uh, I think the what were they like four, four, two. They are now a one. Uh huh. A two. <laughs> a three. No. A five. And no. A six. Wow, I, that's so good, man. I don't. And those, can you dump those out? Are those real dice? Those are real dice. I can show you. Um, I can take one die, for example, this one. They're all different sides. I have here. So I have here. Yeah, for the camera. Wow, that's one. They're all different. My word. Can, wow. If you were here, you could okay. inspect the dice, you could roll the dice. Yeah, yeah, I could see that, man. Let's give Lucas a big round of applause from our homes. That was awesome. Thank you. Um, I, look at I that. You got some comments. Some people are, are very amazed. Well done, thank young man. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott, and everybody else. I can't see you. I'm not on the YouTube live stream, but everybody, thank you. Thank you, Boris. Thank you, Scott. Good job, buddy. Um, should I go to my next trick or are you going to figure out the camera? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Come on. Show us. We want more. The people want more. This is more of a card trick. And for this, I will need you, a spectator. Okay? You need me? I'm, 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 I'm ready, man. Well, as you can see, all the cards are completely different, correct? Yes, they're all different. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is, since you are in camera, I'm going to ripple through the deck and you're going to stop every wall and that will be your card, okay? Got it. Let's go. Stop right there. Yeah. And I'll go on the one thing. I'm just going to take. It's, <laughs> I'm gonna it. it's a four clubs. Yeah. yeah, should I say what it is or no? It's, yes, I can know. It's a four clubs. Okay, got it. Four clubs, yeah. yeah. I'll place it on top. And I'm going to take about a quarter of the deck and place it under. So now your card is completely lost in the deck. So, and as you can see, it's still completely mixed and everything. Yeah, I'll mix, yeah, all different. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ripple through the deck and I want you to stop at like um, quarter of the deck, okay? You want me to say stop again? Uh, the quarter of the deck, okay? okay. Stop. Stop right here? Yeah. You said stop at the four of hearts. Can four everybody of hearts. I'm gonna place the four of hearts on bottom. Got it. What of your card, the four of clubs? Is now in the fourth position of the deck. That One. would be crazy, Lucas. I'm not gonna lie. One card. Yeah. Two. Two. Three. Now, if you Three. stand, up, if you got another card, you would receive this card. Yeah. Another card, but you chose, but you had four. Four. One card. Fourth card. That's the four Look. of clubs. I'm gonna lose it. Four clubs. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause from your homes for that incredible trick. Lucas, stick around. I want to see. I want to see if uh, I want to see if my camera is back to normalness because I would like to show you something. Oh, great! Okay. Oh, good God! No, my camera still thinks I'm trying to watch your uh, your performance. Mm -hmm. You know what, guys? Maybe I should maybe I should connect my webcam. 
because I'm using my phone and because so many people are trying to come in. Sorry about this, guys. We're going to figure it out. We're going to get the stream going. Uh, let me do this. Let me try to see if this will fix it because I want you guys to see me in real time. If you guys are seeing me half an hour too late, that's no good. So let me see if this will work. One sec. Let's do this. Let me see if this will work. Got like eight cameras here. How's this? Is that okay, guys? Can you see me? I, I, yes, I can see you. Um... Okay, well, maybe we'll just use this for now until the other camera figures out what the heck's going on. But the problem now is my face is way too bright. I'll turn on my light. Sorry, guys, we're figuring it out. As I said, this is my first one. We'll do this. There we go. Okay, uh, Lucas, can I show you something? Sure. Let me do this. So you know what? If I do this, then you guys will see me better on that angle. So you could see the table. Where's my deck of cards? Okay, Lucas, we're going to try something for you. And you guys from home can watch this as well. I know there's a bit of a lag, but it seems fine. So it's perfectly fine. And I'll let you guys know when a few people leave for more people to come into the live stream. But right now, we're completely full. And I really do appreciate you guys' excitement uh, for being here. So, uh, Lucas, we're going to try this, buddy. Um, I want you to, in your, so in a deck of cards, there are red cards and black cards, right? Okay, think of uh, red or black. Totally, this isn't one of those things where if you say one, I'm going to eliminate it. We're not going to do that. Whatever color you want, that's the color we're going to use. So do you want red or black? Totally up to you. Black. So we're using the black cards? Yes. Okay. Uh, in the black cards, there are spades and clubs. Do you want spades or clubs? Spades. We're using spades? Totally up to you. Yeah. Okay. And in the spades, there are all the numbers from ace all the way up to 10, and then jack, queen, king. Which one do you want? Seven of spades. Seven of spades. Now, I don't know if you know this, Lucas, but that's my favorite card in the whole deck. That's not part of the trick. I'm legitimately telling you that that's my favorite card. So if you want to change your mind, you can. Totally up to you. But seven of spades, I even have it tattooed on my wrist. It's my favorite card in the whole deck. That's not the trick. I'm just telling you. For me, that's a trick already. No, okay, no, but that, I, I get it. Yeah, listen, oh my God, it's tattooed on his wrist. But that, that's not the trick because you actually named my favorite card. So do you want to change your mind to something else or you want to stay with the seven? I'm going with the seven. You're going to stick to the seven, yeah? yeah? Now, here's the thing. Inside every deck of cards, you guys know this because you guys do uh, uh, magic as well. Inside every deck, there are uh, the two jokers as well, correct, Lucas? So every, every deck comes with the, the lighting's a little weird, but if I do that, you'll see it probably. The two jokers. So we're going to use one of these jokers to... Um, to, to make a selection. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spread the cards like this. I'm gonna keep it in frame. And I'm gonna take that joker and I'm gonna run it down like this. And Lucas, whenever you want, you say the word stop. Stop. Right there? Correct. I know it's a little bright, but I'm gonna do this so you guys could see it. You said right there, yes? Is, is okay. that? Yes. Now I want you to see this. I'm gonna try to keep this in frame so you could see this. You could have said stop at any one of these cards, anywhere, on this, on this, on this, on this, any one of these, any one of these. It could have been, any, you could have said stop anywhere, but you said stop right here on that card, right? That's where you put the joker, correct? Yes. Right there. That, that can help me seven of spades. Now, here's the thing. You said seven of spades. I ran the joker down the deck. You said stop when you want. And you said stop. No! Right there. Now, Lucas, here's the thing. I really appreciate that. I appreciate that you enjoyed that. But here's the crazy thing. The most impressive part of all this isn't the seven of spades that I found or that you found. It's yeah. the fact that of all the cards in the deck, you could have named anything. And you said seven of spades. Yeah. Well, Lucas, here's the reality. I would have been in a lot of trouble if you named any other card. Because... None of these are cards. None of these, Lucas, have anything on them. None of these have anything on them. None of these, none of these cards have any cards on them. The only card in the entire deck is the seven of spades, and that's the one you named, and then you found it. 
Lucas, buddy. You're this is <laughs> Think about that one, guys. So, uh, Lucas, thank you for joining us, buddy. You were a ton of fun. I'm going to get rid of you right now. We're going to bring somebody else in. Keep watching. Uh, thanks for being here, Lucas. And we will see you uh, on another stream on another time. Thanks, buddy. You were a lot of fun. Bye. All right, let's see who else we have up in here. Um, who's this? Let's see who we have. Let's bring in, I'm not sure how to say this. I think it's J Junaid or, well, he's going to tell us in a second, but he's waiting backstage. So let's bring him in. Hey, buddy, what's going on? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very good. How do you say your name? Pronounce it for me. Uh, Junaid. Junaid. Yeah. Junaid, where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. What time is it there right now? Uh, it's 1 p.m. 1 a.m. Sorry. Whoo! Well, thank you for staying up, buddy. I really do appreciate that. Guys, I'm going to remind you, if you want to join us on the stream, we're full for the moment. I will tell you guys when some space clears up. Thank you for your enthusiasm. I could see a lot of you trying to get in here. Also, please yeah. remember to be, I know Lucas wasn't 15, but to join the stream, you do have to be uh, 15 or older. Uh, and, and I do appreciate that. So uh, we have people looking into this. I've told them if anybody looks younger than 15 to get rid of them. So, so if, if you get kicked out, that's why I have someone managing some of the streams. So uh, Junaid, um, do you have some magic to show us? Yes, I have to show some magic, but uh, I want to make a request to you first of all. What's the Something. request? Uh, you know, in Pakistan, I have only these cards. You look, they are not very much expensive. I can only get these getting original plastic card here is a hell of a task and if we import from amazon we have to pay i like it's like 90 dollar import fee on any card you import it's either 10 dollars or something so uh, i wanted one trick from you the disintegration which you used and i looked on amazon and it was very expensive for me to import so, so my, trick, out, my trick disintegration yeah Okay, so Junaid, just because you asked, and so you, so basically you were trying to buy it, but you couldn't find it at a reasonable price. Yeah. Okay. After the stream, uh, go to Inst. You have Instagram. Yeah, yeah, I have. Write to me. Write to me on Instagram and uh, just say, hey, it's Junaid from the live stream because my my Instagram DMs are not managed. I don't look at them. I have management who looks through them, but if you say it's Junaid from the live stream, I'll let them know, and they'll send me that message, and I'll get in touch with you, and I'll I'll take care of you for that. Yeah, that's, just do. that's not an invitation because... to everybody who's watching this stream to do that. See, Junaid said he was willing to buy it. That's the key. I want to talk about that for a second because we get a lot of messages on YouTube from a lot of people who say, hey, can you send me this? Can you send me that? And no, we can't because if we did that to everyone who asked, we'd, we'd get in a lot of trouble. But see, Junaid just did it the respectful way. He said, I tried to buy it. I couldn't find it. Can you help me out? And yes, I will help you out. That doesn't mean that that's a little secret I'm giving you guys to start every message with, I tried to buy it because I'll, we'll see right through that. But I just want to say, Junaid, thanks for being respectful. Thanks for doing it yeah. the right way. I do appreciate that, my friend. Thanks. So you're awesome. And I can't wait to see the trick. Show us what you got. Okay. It's just simple. I'm a beginner magician. I'm not that a great magician, you can say. Okay. I just do beginner magic, which I great. just started almost two to three months before. No problem. Okay. I'm going to start this trick by use. Okay. I'm going to pass. You just need to say stop at any card you want. Okay. I will stop there. Okay. Just say stop. Hold it up so I could see it though. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more. Uh, the other way. The other way. Yeah. Yes. There. Okay. Just say stop. Okay. Stop. Stop. Yes. You stop at this card. It's over down. I can't show it down. I'll show it to you now, but I'll put it in the box, in okay. this box. Okay, I'm going to cover it. And it's only one card inside it. No other card, I'll show you after the trick. Okay, now I want you to choose one card, I will look away, but you have to trust me, there's no other way I can assure you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ripple shuffle them one time, if I can show them a bit, yeah. It's pretty weird. I don't have a desk. Okay. Uh, oh you can stop. That look great. Yeah. yeah, you can stop at any time you want. I'm, I'm not forcing a card. Not forcing any card. Okay, there. You stopped yeah. over here. 
Okay. So I'm gonna look away. Okay. Here's your card. You can okay. see. Okay. You, you don't want me to say what it is? No, no. I don't want you to see. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna shuffle these cards. Okay. I am going to try to make this card appear inside the box. Just try. Okay, I'm doing it up so <laughs> people might not think that I have done it just like. Uh, <laughs> no, I believe you. I trust you. We have a trust okay. system going on. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Okay, I'm going to shuffle them. Okay, I shuffled them. They are perfectly all right now. It would have been late, <laughs> but unfortunately, I couldn't do it. Okay, let's see the card what we used. Okay, I'm going to show you just like this. This is the only card inside it. Only card. Yeah. You choose 10. Yeah. And from top, the 10th card one should be yours. Okay. That's interesting. One. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine. I know that's a bit awkward, but you know, and uh, show us the card. Uh, ah! the card. Ladies and gentlemen, give him some thunder, dude. Thanks, buddy. That's great, man. Good for, I mean, yeah, you know, I get it. I get it. it's tough with the camera for us to see, but that, yeah. That's great, man. The way it ends up at the position of the card you predicted. I, I like it, man. Good job, buddy. Love to Thank see me you, some, some, some people getting into magic. I really appreciate that. By the way, guys, I want to say this right now. For the people to come on this stream and show us some magic, it takes a lot of guts. And Junaid and Lucas and everyone else back here, I want you guys to be very kind and, and supportive of them. If I see any bullying on the chat at all, anything at all, I will ban you, not from the chat, but from the channel. This is not a place where bullying is acceptable. This is an open place. We're all learning together. If there's any bullying, what's... And I want you guys to always feel free to comment whatever you feel in your heart without being scared that someone's going to come in and bully you. It's okay to be a beginner. It's okay to ask questions. If somebody comes in and bullies you, don't worry about it. I'm always looking out for you guys. If anybody bullies any one of my subscribers on comments or chats, they will be banned from the channel for life. Zero tolerance for that. I just wanted to say that because a lot yeah, of you are being encouraging. That, what's that? I really appreciate that, man. Of course, man. Anytime, Junaid. I want you to keep learning. I want you to keep working on that because we need more magic out there. So, guys, please remember that. Yeah. Always feel safe to comment and ask questions on my channel. If anybody comes in and bullies you, there is a zero, zero tolerance policy. Me and my management are always looking for people who are being unfair and they get they get kicked out. So, Junaid, thank you for that. Um, yeah. Junaid, let me ask you a question while you're here. Did you yeah. watch the tutorial that I did with the black envelope with Shin Lim? Did you see that video? Yeah. Okay, great. That. We're going to talk about that trick right now. So I'm going to use you, Junaid, for something because I want to talk to you guys about that trick. I know a lot of you watched it. Sorry, I'm trying to wiggle around here. I know a lot of you watched it. I know a lot of you are doing um, that trick. I got a lot of great comments. A lot of people are out there practicing it. I want to give you guys an additional thought on this. So, Junaid, I'm going to do the same trick that I did for Shin Lim exactly for you right now. You're going to remember it. I'm, I'll even describe it as I do it because a lot of you know it. If you haven't seen it, guys, the explanation to this is on the channel. It's with an envelope and a prediction. Let me just get that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys something that you're all familiar with, and then, and then there's going to be a little twist at the end. So, so Junaid, as you remember, the trick started with – a, uh, a, a prediction card. Yep. And then there was an envelope and the card yep. went and the card went into the envelope. And by the way, it was a red, it was, I'm going to do it here. It was a yep. red prediction. Yeah. You see the red? Yep. I a little saw that. overexposed, but anyway, I'm trying to hear there red. And that yes. went inside uh, the envelope like that. And it stayed yep. there. Now, Junaid, here's what we're going to do. Deck of cards, all different. All mixed. Yeah. And as I go through these, Junaid, I'm going to ask you to say the word stop when you want. I'll drop them one at a time. Stop. Right there? Right. Yeah. The one Down on the word. table on, or the one in my hand? On the table. This one? Yeah. That's the card. You sure? Yeah. And as you guys remember, for those of you who saw the trick, I very slowly went and placed that 
I'm doing this still in frame inside the envelope, correct? Okay, yes. so again, for those of you who haven't seen it, it's on the channel. It's from, I think, about a month ago where we did the tutorial where I put a prediction and Shin Lim picked a card the same way Janae just did. And then I reached yes. in and I pulled out the two cards like this slowly and I showed that there's nothing else inside the envelope. I'm sure you guys all remember exactly this trick. Yeah. And then, Junaid, I said that my prediction was the 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 five of hearts and yes. you picked and the five of hearts yeah. remember remember this trick yes now Janae, if remember you remember it. correctly in that trick the envelope was not examinable right because it had a wall and yeah. there was a hidden card in there you guys remember that and so yeah. many people in the comments said oh it's so obvious it's a gimmicked envelope well here's the thing this is not a gimmicked envelope there's nothing in here oops there's no flaps. There's no extra card. You, I can hand this to you. There's nothing extra in this envelope right now. Okay. So let me tell you guys what this is. This is something I taught on the channel uh, about a month ago. And like I said, a lot of you are doing it. And in the original one that I taught, there was a wall in the envelope. Remember that, Junaid? So I said to make yeah. a separate wall. That way your uh, prediction goes in the front and then their card goes in the back, and then you pull out the prediction, and it's two cards secretly stuck with this, Easy Tack, which is an amazing, amazing product. And I told you guys in the video, there's so many uses for this. Now, sometimes on the channel, I give you hints like that. I say something like, there's a lot more uses for this, because I want you guys to think. The variation I just did is an improvement that I always had, but I wanted to see how many people are gonna think about it and try to improve on it. Let me tell you what's happening here. It's the same trick, with a normal envelope. And here's here's how it happens. There's no four stack. No, it's not a four stack. It's not a four stack at all. Also earlier, a lot of people said that in the other trick I did with the white cards, I did a deck switch. There was no deck switch, that's dead wrong. Um, so here's what's happening. In the video, I talked about a product called Easy Tack. This is amazing. You could do so many great things with this, but one of the things it does is it sticks cards. I know you heard the sound there, but it sticks cards in a way where this is, a lot of people said it's like the invisible deck. It's not. In the invisible deck, it doesn't hold cards together. You can't put them on the table like this. These two cards are now stuck. And you could separate them silently like that. So I talked about this product in the video. You guys can go find it there. You can see what it's called. It's an amazing product. You can use it for so many different things. I've made some incredible force techniques with this. And I'm sure those of you who know Magic Well could think of some ideas. But basically, here's what's happening in this version. The envelope is not gimmicked. This is, the prediction is two five of hearts stuck to each other. And again, in the, in the original video, a lot of people said at some point, I flashed a five of spades or a five of clubs. I think that was just a resolution of my camera. And like, as I was moving, it got dark because it, I only have a five of hearts for this. So that's the five of hearts. Here's what happens. This is a double. It's stuck with the easy tack, which is, again, an amazing product. I can't recommend it enough. As I go to put it in the envelope, let me keep this in frame. As I go to put it in the envelope, it goes in. Once it's in the envelope and out of sight, I split it. Then I come back up. I show you the card one more time, and then it goes behind. Now, this card is sticky on the top, and it's just waiting. So basically, the prediction is like this. I say five of hearts. I go in. I separate it as it goes in. Then I come back up. I show it to you one more time. Now I put it in. So now the sticky card is here. Does that make sense, Junaid? Yeah. Okay. Now the card that you pick, doesn't matter which one it is. Let's say, for example, you know, I, I go like this. You say stop. That's not the five of hearts, but it doesn't matter because when I go into the envelope, I'm going to stick it to the other blue card. Oh, great. You know what I mean? Because the, the, the yeah. sticky is here. So now I'm using the envelope. I'm using the edges of the envelope here because the other cards are here. They're right in that corner. So as this card goes in, basically what happens is this. These two cards are here. This goes into the envelope right there. And I use the edges of the envelope to square everything up. So that's happening inside the envelope and it sticks. So now when I come out, my prediction is, is here and your card that you chose is now stuck to the other prediction. So yeah. I come here and it matches, but you don't know, you know, I do this. You don't know 
that your card is stuck to the to the back of this one. It doesn't matter because you see yeah. this and this, and I could throw these now because they're stuck. This is what Easy Tack does. Invisible deck product can't do this. So you, now I do this, and now you can hand them this. They could take it home. So to all the people who are like, oh, it's obviously a gimmick envelope, well, you're going to fry them with this because there's nothing wrong now with the envelope. You could just, you know what I mean? Yeah. How's that, Junaid? Do you like that? Yeah. You know what I did with that trick? You what? I use classic. You know what I did with that trick? You know how I performed that? Tell I use just a classic force for the card which I predicted. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a different way to do it. There's a classic force is cool if if you get it right, uh, you know, and the timing yeah. is right. But there's yeah. something about for me just going like like this, and they say stop when they want, and you say you like that, you want to keep going, you want to go back. So it's totally up to them. Um, yeah, you know what? D different versions, different versions of different things. Junaid, yeah. thank you for joining us, buddy. I really enjoyed that. Uh, get. Uh, Get in touch on Instagram and we'll get you sorted out yeah. for the uh, thingamajig, for the for the disintegration. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm going to do that. All right, guys. I'm going to see if the, uh, the other camera is back to acceptable. One, two, three. No, absolutely not. Okay. This is ridiculous. You got – this is a good problem to have because you guys are spamming the um, – you got you guys are basically just spamming the because you're trying to get in here. But it's fine. We're just gonna do it this way. Ignore the stubble on my on my chest here. This is way closer than I ever wanted anybody to be to this poster. So again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that variation of the envelope trick. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of that in the comments. Uh, again, please try to keep the conversations in the comments relevant to what's going on in here. Uh, again, I want to talk about this product. Again, in the video, this is easy tack. I talked about this. It's not like the Invisible Deck Mad Spray. You could do so much stuff with this. That's really, really cool. And a lot of cool forces. I'm going to give you a very small hint, very small hint. But the trick that I did for Lucas earlier where he said, stop, maybe it uses this. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe somebody, a little birdie told me that it uses this. Um, I don't know if somebody wants to know how this, how these are made. Somebody commented about this, the deck inside a bottle. It's a great mystery. I don't think anybody in the world knows how they're made. Um, let's get someone else in here. Let's see who we have. If you're back here in the stream and you're ready to show us something, just give me a thumbs up to your camera like this and I will bring you. Okay, here we go. Hello there. Hi. What's your name? Ophir. Ophir? Yes. Ophir, where are you from? Israel. Say again? Israel. Israel, Israel. What time is it there, Ophir? Um, 11 uh, p.m. 11 p.m. That's, that's, that's good. That's, that's a good time. So after this, straight mm -hmm. to bed, Ophir. You got something to show us? Mm-hmm. Let's see it. I have your... An ace with a hole. Yeah. And another two kings with hole in the middle. Little hole. Okay. A little more. Yeah. Okay. So, oh. Okay. I see. A little hole in the middle. Okay. And if I take the ace yeah. and put it between the kings, there is a hole that goes through all of the cards. Sure. And I have this, and I put it. Inside here. Okay. I don't know. Show it more to the camera. Yeah, hold it there. Yeah, okay. And I straight it. Yeah. And the ace is, is stuck. Stuck. Right? If that comes out, I'm going to lose it. But if hold I, it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, yeah. I can just take it through. <laughs> and this can be examined and all, all of this can be examined. What the hell was that? Oh my God! Where did you? Is that whose is that? Who invented yeah, that? I don't know. That's so good. Where did you learn that? Tell us where you learned that. I think in YouTube. I don't know. I saw th something and made uh, a new uh, something uh, from this. That's it. guys. I know a few people are commenting that Ophir doesn't look fifteen, but he's actually forty-two years old. He just looks really, really young. 
I'm just joking. No, he was here before. He was here before the stream started. So I said it's okay if you were here before the stream started, but to join the stream, um, you have to be at least 15. Afir, that was incredible. Thank you. I I don't even I don't even look at my face. I need a second. Afir, I love it. Muzzle top, baby. Thank you. Um is that it? You want you want to show something else? Yes. Or is that the only one you brought? Is that it? Short little quick quick trick? No. That's it? That's everything? Mm -hmm. Love it, buddy. Short and sweet. Thank you. It to the point. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say bye to Ophir right now. Um, that leaves room for one more person. Yes, I'm gonna get you, uh, Vishak. You'll be next. So get ready for us. I'm gonna bring you in next. I could see you. Give me a sec. I want to talk about something before we bring in the next guest. I really do appreciate the support, guys. Uh, the so here's, I want to give an example. It actually happened right now uh, in the chat. So I really appreciate your enthusiasm for my material, guys. You have no idea how, how how thankful I am that you guys follow and support and show some love. That's really awesome. But I do want to say this. There's a tendency that a lot of the followers have that has to stop. It's not just me. A lot of other YouTubers, you know, complain about this as well when we talk amongst each other. And it's, we do tutorials, but we're also professional performers. So we do tutorials and there's other things that, we do in our in our careers. It's very annoying when people see us doing performances on TV or you know on stage, and they go on our videos and all they comment is, "Hey, can you teach that trick you did on TV? Hey, can you teach that trick you did for Shin Lim? Hey, can you teach that trick?" We decide what we want. Now, I I teach some stuff on my channel that I really really believe in, really strong effects that are important to me that I've been doing for a long time, but it has to be at a level that I think a lot of YouTubers will be able to follow and understand. When I'm doing certain advanced things out there, it's very hard for me to keep seeing comments, teach this, teach that. We're not DJs, we don't take requests. So do me a favor if you're watching this stream and you follow me and you follow other guys who do tutorials, please, please, please keep in mind, we don't we don't always like getting requests. Like if we ask, if we say, hey, what do you guys wanna learn next week? That's perfectly fine. But if you're going on my other irrelevant videos and saying, teach this, teach that. It's really irritating. Like I said, we're not DJs. We don't take requests. We teach specific things that we think is right. So um, just keep that in mind because a lot of other YouTubers, myself included, are getting very annoyed by, like we do things in our professional work that we're not going to teach. It's our tricks that we make a living with. And a lot of other things, like for example, the Shin Lim trick, a lot of you guys wanted to know how I did that, the one on Shin's channel. It's not even mine. Like I, I, I added some touches to it, but I can't teach that. So we decide what we want to teach based on a lot of criteria. Is it ours? Is it easy to follow? Uh, is it okay to expose? But there's a lot of things we can't teach. So please stop it with the requests unless we specifically ask. Thank you. Um, okay, let's bring someone else. We said we have Vishach. I think I'm saying that right, but he's going to correct me in a second. Let's bring you in. Hello Hi. there. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Can good. Is your, is your name yeah. Vishak? Is that how you say it? Vaishak. Vaishak. Yes. Vaishak. I'm from India. You're from India. Yeah. What time is it there? Like two a.m. One forty-three a.m. <laughs> background, baby. Look at those cards in the back. <laughs> yes, yes. I run a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel, so I made a background for channel. Oh, that's the background <laughs> channel. That's awesome. What yes. are you going to show us? Okay, let me boom, boom, boom. Is it visible? Boom, boom, boom. I'm already excited. I see things that I don't understand. Oh, nothing. Uh, two cards, uh, two deck of cards. Two decks of cards. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is a local card from uh, yeah Indian made card, and cool. this is of course bicycle. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, usually this is uh, done with people. They are shuffling the cards. So here I'm shuffling the card. Uh, shuffling, 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 mixing. Okay, fair? Yes. Yes, fair mixing. Oh, before that, <laughs> I missed to the cards are all mixed up, right? Yeah. Yes, everything is missed. Okay. Okay, now. We have another deck. Let that. <clears throat> we have uh, another deck. Just 
makes moving through the deck uh, all cards are mixed right yes everything is fair yes fair fair right. fair yes i just mix these cards too yep perfect yep fair yes now um just look at the uh, the first the card that comes on the top of the first deck that is four hearts oh this is four of hearts now here uh that is oh four of spades four of spades this is yes four of hearts and four of spades okay yeah. uh let me do something extra with this mixing um let's uh, stop at any way i will move the, my fingers okay stop there yeah are you sure yes 100% okay yes that look pretty fair let me read fair there is very yeah okay uh now i'm just going to uh, just uh, but guess your card guess the card that you are stored that okay yeah just okay i think uh this is a uh, i don't know uh, it's a red card uh, i think it's a uh, okay i think it's a uh, hearts and uh, six Six of hearts. Oh, right. <laughs> so, so, six I, of hearts. They look good. Okay. Uh, these are just cheap cards from our market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheap cards is what you're saying. Yes, and that's it. Good job, buddy. Let's give him a nice big round of applause from our homes. Yay! That was good. Because, uh, Thank you. Because you said it's a, it's a, you know, it's like a cheap deck from. any stored so i don't think it's marked and then it, i don't know if that was a force that looked really good to me from where i was looking uh so thank you for that uh uh tell me say your name again vaishak 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 thank you so much yes. for that i really appreciate it thank you let's, thank uh, you let's do this thanks for being here um guys we got a we got rid of a few spammers on the comments uh if you spam i'm going to get rid of you it's very unpleasant for people who are trying to enjoy the video uh also a lot of you are asking how to join the stream you had to be here earlier because uh i got rid of the link because so many people are trying to get in here pretty um there goes another one we're blocking a few spammers here um great let's say bye to vaishak like that okay uh let's see who we have here let's see who we have give me some thumbs up here we go Hello, Harsh. Can you hear me? Harsh, I can't hear you. Is your mic off? Still can't hear you, buddy. I I could see that you're not muted, but I can't hear you. Hold on, let's do this. Let me just boot, put back. Can you say something? No, I see your lips moving, but I can't hear you, Harsh. I'm going to get someone else try to figure that out. We'll bring you back in a little bit. See how that's doing. Did, I don't know how to say this, but let's bring you in. Hello. Dana, Dana? Hi. I can Oh, yeah, I, I say something. Good. Dana, I can uh, hear you, Dana. Hi. I'm going to try to say I'm going to try to say your last name. Are you ready? Don't say it. I'm going to I'm going to figure it out. Ready? I'll Yeah. Hold on. I'll ka tani. Oh, yeah, right. Where are you from? Yeah, that's it in English. Where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Awesome. Tiktok. You're going to show us a yeah, trip? So Mhm. Mm girl, okay, girl, I'm guys, by the way, trip. before you do this, Dana, girl magicians are the best fact. So, we're about to get our minds blown. 
by Dana Al Kahtani. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go, Dana. Okay, so uh, I've been doing magic for three months now. So I don't know how this is actually going to go. Pro so Let me tell you something, Dana. It's probably going to be a lot better than what my magic looked like when I was three months in. So you're good. Okay, thank you. But um, so you can pick, you pick from one or two because I have two tricks and I don't know what you want to do first. I want the better one. Sure. <laughs> okay, so this, so I've got this prediction. I know that there are different decks, but okay, so I'm just going to put that one here. And this is actually the Orbit deck. Orbit. Yeah. So I'm going to mix these cards up from right over here. This is the half. So I'm pretty bad at mixing cards up. Hey, you're better than a lot of other people. That was really good, actually. Okay, so I'm going to pick two cards. One red, uh, one red card and one black card. This red card. Uh-huh. Um, this black card. Five of hearts and so, five of spades, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'd like you to say... Uh, like I'm going to deal out some cards and I'd mm -hmm. like you to pick if it's red or black. Okay. If it's black, I'm going to put it right over there. If it's red, I'm going to put it right over there. Got it. So. That one's black. Okay. That one's hundred percent red. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even hesitant. Red. Black. Black. Red. Okay, now, okay, Dana, hold on, hold on. stop right there. Stop right there. Because you want to make sure it's fair, right? So I'm going to call out the next one. Show the camera. We'll see if I'm right. I think it's red. Show the camera. Are you sure? Yeah. Look at this. She's crazy, guys. Put it down where the red is. Okay, we'll keep, we won't show the rest. We'll keep the suspense. Black. Both? Black? Yeah, both black. Yeah, yeah both, uh, both black again. Now one. The uh, red. Okay. And then red. Black. 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 Red. 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 Three blacks in a row. Four reds in a row. Two blacks. Okay. Oh, we're stopping there? We keep going? Uh, yeah. We're going to make. Uh, we're just going to do switch them. We're going to so switch. So you can say if it's red, we'll put it here. Now we're going to go there. there. Okay. There. We'll go with uh, two reds in a row. Okay. Black. Red. Black. Uh, three reds in a row. Two. Two more reds. Three blacks. Black. Red. Black. How many you have left? We have five. Make, hold, hold them down so we can't see from under the color. Like tilt down because when you did that, mix them up a little. Mix them up a little. Because when you did it, when you did it that way, you lift it up and I saw that there were a couple of black cards there. Um, Okay, you have five left. The top three are, are, no, the top, the top one is red. The rest are all black. Yeah, those are all black. Okay. So uh, I think that adults are pretty good at guessing because my mom's always like, go to your viewer, like young girl. And I'm like, oh my God, adults are <laughs> so annoying. They and know. How do they know? Says, Adults aren't always right. And I'm like, how? So we just <laughs> want to test it here. Okay. Okay. So you so here are the red ones and here are the black ones. Yeah. We want to see how you did. And remember, I still have that prediction right over there. Right. So let's see. Oh my god, you're really good. Look down. Can you see all that black? Oh, no, 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 no. Move, move. I want to see. Move to the camera. Move towards the camera. They're all red at the top. Yeah, and then 
see all, all black and then all oh my red. god and i know you did one mistake we're gonna see that right over there and then we're gonna do that oh my god you did oh really my god good. i think i'm a mentalist yeah you are <laughs> Okay, so we see that mistake you did here, the Ace of Hearts. Yeah, I messed that one up. Sorry. I wasn't focusing. So what do you think was my prediction? If it's the Ace of Hearts, I'm just, I'm just going to fall. Oh, my God. Dana, you're a psychic. Love it. Thanks. That is a, that is a, that is a nice version of um, Paul Curry's Out of This World. It's, it's a, it's a, if you guys don't know, I mean – I'm not going to give Dana a secret away, but that's, you know, maybe what it's called. It's a great, it's a great thing. And th that switch is so subtle. And, and th that mistake is a, is a great idea. Um, good job. Love it. Good for you, Dana. Thanks. How long? So you've been doing magic for three months? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Can I show you something? Sure. We're going to do a tutorial right now, Dana. Sit down. Um, let me get my deck of cards. Here. It was really hard for me to do this because well, the angle, um, the angle is a little rough, and you know, performing for webcams is always really difficult. But you did a wonderful job. I, nah, I thought you did a wonderful job, Dana. Um, so th I don't know why my lighting is so harsh. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Can we turn down the the no the the room lights? No, that. I just want to see if it's gonna make it a little bit. No, that made it worse. Go up somewhere in the middle of those two, and then turn this down no the other knob yeah okay i think that's a little bit something's over yeah close the we're gonna close my eyes because then i want to make sure you see this um this is i'm gonna do a tutorial right now like a live i've never done this before so if i mess it up you guys are gonna see the whole tutorial mess up right in front of your face hold on i'm just closing the blind so that we can yeah that looks good you know what that's perfect thanks okay so dana um I've got a pad of post-its over here. And on the first one, I'm going to write down the number one. And there's a great trick for all of you guys at home to do for your friends and family. Can you see, uh, Dana, where it's... Oh, okay, that's a little... Hold on. Oh, man. You don't see that, do you? Why is it so... What if I tilt it? Why is it like... I don't really it see like... that. It looks like I'm... You know what? Let me just close that blind entirely. I'll be right back. I'm going to just do this. Yeah, sorry, this is a little crazy because I'm like literally in darkness and for some reason You can't see that, huh? No, I can't. Hold on, maybe. Oh, there. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so you see the number 1. Yes. Lovely. That's perfect. Okay, so I'll, I'll hold it up really close to the camera. Uh, Dana, I want you to think of any country in the world, okay? Any country. Don't say it. Just in your mind, think of a country. Okay. Do you have it? Look mm -hmm. at the lens. Got it. <laughs> um, it's going to be this. So number one, I've written down a country, and I'm going to put that over here. Now I'm going to do number two. Wait, Dana, let me okay? just enter the door. Yeah, sure. Because we, uh, we're like five children. No worries. So guys, this is something you'll all be able to do for your friends and family. And um, Dana, do you have, do you have to go? Or are you okay? No, I'm okay. That was just my younger sibling. So you don't you don't have to go. You you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. So you thought. So I wrote something down. So you thought of a country. I wrote something down on the number one paper and I set it down. I'm committed. I can't change my mind. Tell everybody what country you were thinking of. Say it. I was actually thinking of Saudi Arabia. 
Saudi Arabia, of course, because you're from there. Um, now, some people might say I could guess that because you're from there. So we're going to try this again. I've written down a number two on the pad. I'll do it here so you can see. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Think of, uh, in your mind, think of uh, any animal in the world. Don't say it. Just think of it. Yeah, I think uh, I have one. You have one? Yes. It's this. I'm not even a little unconfident. It's that. Now, for the last one, I'm going to write... Oh, by the way, what, what? so again, you thought of an animal. You didn't say a word. I wrote something down on a paper that says number two. Tell everybody what the animal was. Uh, it's a snake. It's my favorite. Snake. I have a snake literally right there in his terrarium, right? He's, I could see her right there. But anyways, snake. Um, finally, I'm going to write a number three. I want you to see that. The numbers are very important because... You know, some people might think that I'm trying to write down the wrong thing. You know, like I, I wrote something previously, but if I write down the number, I, I can't do that. It's, it's got to go where it says number three. So um, for the third one, it's going to be a card. Now, don't think of a card yet because this is going to be completely random. I'm going to write down uh, the name of a card. I'm going to go with this one. That is going to go right there. So for the card, here's what we're going to do. I've got a deck of cards, all different, and I'm going to turn over cards one at a time, face up, and pull them back like this. And you're going to say stop when you want, and we're going to look at the first face down card that you said stop at. I'll do it here. So one at a time, I'm going to turn them like this, and when you want, you say stop. Stop. Right there? Yes. You don't want to keep going? I don't want to keep going. Excellent. So all these I turned over. You said stop on that one, correct? Correct. I'm going to put that one right there. We're not even going to look at it yet. So let's go over what happened. I took my pad of Post-its, which is now here, and I wrote down um, three different things. And the first one was, I'll put it here in order. The first one was uh, a country. I wrote down one. I wrote something down. You And then you said what the country was. And then the second one was an animal. I said, think of something. I wrote something down under number two. Then you said what the animal was. And then I wrote down the name of a card. And then you picked a card that we don't even know what it is yet. Now, number one was the... Oh, wait, did I do it in the wrong order? Sorry, sorry. It's, it's reversed. Three, two, one, because I, I dealt them from the top. So the first one would be over here. This was the country. I said, think of something. I wrote something down on the paper that said, number one, then you said, you told us afterwards that you were thinking of Saudi Arabia. What does it say under number one? It says Saudi Arabia. <laughs> then I said, I wrote number two. I said, think of an animal. I wrote something down, put it down, didn't touch it. You said snake. What does it say under number two? It literally says snake. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I wrote down number three and I wrote down the name of one card. Didn't even show you this yet. What does that say? Ten of hearts. You could have picked anything. You said stop at the ten of hearts. That oh. is really cool. I think let's that's learn it. Thing. Let's learn it. You ready to learn it, Dana? Yes. Okay, I really so want to see if I'm right or not. Because cool. I think I might know how it goes. So there's a couple of things you might know, but here's the thing. There's a couple of things about this that add an extra layer. And one of them is the fact that you're numbering the pages. And I think that's a really great touch because if oh, I, I've seen a lot of people do this to where they don't number the, the pages, they just go. They write something, they write something, they write something. So it's very unclear as to when they wrote what. But if you number it like this, then it's very obvious. One was the country, two was the animal, three was the card. So here's what's happening. You need a, you need a gimmick for this that will take you five seconds to make. And here's what the gimmick is. This post-it pad, so usually post-it pads, 
you have the whole pattern at the end. You have like the back sticker, right? The back of it. This post-it doesn't ha- pad doesn't have a back. It's got that's the front of it, and then that's also the front of it. So it's got two fronts. So basically, what I've done is I've taken a pad of post-its. I'll show you from scratch. Actually, you don't. Need, is that a hold on? I'll use this. So I've taken a normal pad of post-its like this. This is the one I used last week for the smiley. Remember the smiley card trick with the drawing on the post-it? Yeah. So I've taken the post-it pad. I'm going to do this. And I've split the whole pad in half like this. So you cut the hole in half. Then you flip this around and you're going to stick this back to back and you're going to try to make it as aligned as possible and you're going to stick it down really tight like this so now what happens is this half is the front and that half is also the front right so that's the front and then that's the front does that make sense yes. now you're going to secretly write a number three and circle it on one side so that's your preparation and that's going face down like this. So if people see this, they think it's just a post-it pad. And you can even show it like this. Nobody knows front or back what a post-it pad looks like. They're the same on both sides. So you set that down. The three is secretly at the bottom. This is sitting on your table. I'm trying to put it in frame. You grab your deck of cards and you need to know what the second card from the top is. And it's very simple to do that as you shuffle like this. You just I see the bottom card, five of spades. Now I take it like this. I mix like that, and then I just throw one more card on top. So my second card is five of spades. I can also just do one, two. I see the four of spades, and I do this. So now I know the four of spades is the second card from the top. So again, I'm just mixing, and I go one, two. I see the eight of spades, throw the cards on top. So the second card down now is the eight of spades. So here's what happens. I tell you um, – sorry, give me a sec. There's somebody – causing trouble in the comments guys tell me the name okay umar umar you're out buddy you're off the channel blocked i told you guys earlier if anybody is bullying couldn't care there's no room for the, there's no room for that kind of thing here thanks guys thanks for letting me know He's banned. He's gone. And after this, I will ban him from the channel as well. He will not be able to interact with any of the videos. Like I said, guys, always feel free to express yourself on my channel. It's a safe place. I don't want anyone like that here. And thank you guys for keeping an eye on that. And I see a lot of you in the comments of my videos telling bullies off. Love you for it. Big hug. Okay. So we have the number three at the bottom of the pad. That's sitting face down. Over there, and I know that the second card from the top is the Eight of Spades. I know that, but they don't. It just looks like I mixed the cards. So what you do is this. You say, I'm going to write a number one, and you write number one, and you show them number one. And here's the crazy thing about this. If you were here as an added convincer, I can hand you the marker and have you sign the bottom of number one. And that's such a great convincer because at the end, your word is where they sign. So it's crazy. But I, I can't do that virtually. But in reality, if you want to do that, you can have them sign that paper. Now it comes back to me and I'm, I'm holding it like this because it looks like I'm going to write on this paper. But what happens is as my hand drops either next to me or if you're doing it at a table under the table, with one hand, I flip this over. So now I'm actually writing where it says three. See? And on that three, I'm writing down eight of spades, the force card. So I write eight spades. I fold it up, remove it, and place it on the table like this. Now, they think that's number one, but it's already number three. I've skipped already to the end. Now I, write, now I say, what's the country you were thinking of? Let's say they say France. I go, great. Now we're going to do something else. Think of an animal. So I write down number two, and I show them number two. Uh, show them number two. Uh, so silly. Now I come back, hold it in my hand like this. And as I drop my hand, I'm going to flip this over like this again. And now number one is here. So I'm going to write down friends. So I write down friends. And we call this the one step ahead principle. It's so good in mentalism. 
I fold this up like this. So they think I just wrote on number two because they saw that number two. So in their head, that's a hundred. Like number two is the animal. So I put it down and I reconfirm and I say, you randomly thought of uh, an animal. And I wrote down, before you said anything, I wrote it down. And now we're going to, now I say, what was the animal? And let's say they say elephant. Now I do number three. So I wrote down number three. I show this. I come back. And again, I'm going to put this in my hand like this, but I'm going to flip it over to two. And you can even do this. Like if you're subtle enough while you're gesturing, watch, it's three. You can even do it while you're gesturing, while you're talking. And if there's a lot of action, they're not going to see that. Now on the number two, I'm going to write down elephant. And I'm going to fold it up. And I'm going to set it down. Fold it up. Set it down. So now they think that says one with a country, two with an animal, and three with a card. We're going to go to the selection of the card. And here's this force. I've never taught this force on the channel. So you guys are learning a new force today. The eight of spades is the second card down over here. What happens is you turn over the top card. And as you turn it over and show it to them, hello, as you turn it over and show it to them, you get a left pinky break under that eight of spades. We've talked about pinky breaks on the channel, but it looks like this. You turn it over, you get that break, you come back. Now that's two cards. I've got a pinky break under two cards and you pull both of them back. So the eight of spades is upside down under the four. So Dana, as I go through these like this, you're going to say stop when you want. Go ahead. Stop. Right there. What's going to happen now is I'm going to push this entire packet forward, which is going to add that eight of spades to that face down deck. So I go like this. I say, you could have said stop at any one of these, but you said stop here. Now that's the eight of spades. Now there's only one thing left to do. We have to reorder these post-its. So I pick these up. The third one has to come to the top and you're going to do the world's easiest and dumbest uh, bottom deal. You pick up all three like this. And it's going to look like you're dealing the first one down, but your fingers are hiding everything and you're actually just grabbing the bottom one. So you go like this and it doesn't even matter if it looks good. You say the top one was the card. The second one was the animal. The first one was the country. Now you've reordered it. So now if you grab this and you open it, you say, you thought of a country. I wrote something down before you could say anything. Now you show it. It's France. You nailed it. Then the second one. And that number is such an added convincer because you wrote that number two. And you show that you got elephant. And the last one, you build that suspense. Turn it over. You say three. We don't even know. It's the last thing I wrote. Reemphasize that. I wrote eight of spades. And you chose the eight of spades. Do we love it, Dana? That is so cool. Thank you, Dana. I can, next stream, you're, I, you're gonna perform that. You can, next time we're gonna bring you back, you can perform that one. Thank you so much, Dana, you were awesome. Your trick was great. Thank you for sticking around for that tutorial. We're gonna see you uh, at a different time. Peace. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Her, uh, there she is. Okay, guys, we have time for one more. Uh, let's see who we have here. Guys, if you're back here in the stream, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up if you're 15 or older. Very important. Don't lie to me. I could see your faces. Manuel. Manuel, Hello. say something. Hey. Say test, test, test. Test, test, test. Okay, your audio is a little delayed. Here's how you could fix that. Mute the YouTube video if you're still on that and close everything else on your computer. Anything else that's running, close it and that should be a lot better. Give me test, 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 and then unmute. Give me test, test, test. Test, test, test. That's a lot better. You got a trick for us, man? Where are you from? Um, I'm originally from Mexico, but I live here in the United States now. Oh, cool. Where? Uh, uh, South Carolina. Oh, fun. Hey, man. So you got something to show us? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to lower the cam uh, camera a little bit. Nice. Right here. So I'm going to show you. Those, those are cool. I'm going to show you all the cards. Uh, can you see that? All the cards yeah. are mixed up. 
Well, uh, for this trick, I'm a, all I need you to do is kind of tell me when to stop. Okay. Stop right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to look at this card quite yet. I'll just place it right there. Yeah. The entire deck goes right there. Um, I'm going to ask you to uh, tell me when to stop one more time. Stop. Right there. Yeah, right there. So we're, that's where we're going to place a card. And it's just going to stay right there. Now, it is very important that you placed it anywhere. Because as we look at it right here, the two cards that kind of cover it up, you cut to one ace, to two aces. Ooh. And I honestly forgot how to do that. But that's where they were covering it. You cut to a third and to a fourth. Cool, man. That's awesome. That's a great move. Um, I have a new trick, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Please. I'm going to just lose all these cards in here. I don't need these anymore. Uh, so, uh, do you just want to kind of tell me when to stop? Yeah, uh, keep going a little more. R uh, right there. Right there. Do you yeah. want uh, which one of these do you want? The one that's in the middle, like the one that's obviously protruding. Yeah, that one. Yeah, one. Okay. Well, um, you can look at this card. I'm looking away. I hope you got it. Do it. I say what it is? No, no, no. Okay. Can you do yourself? Yeah, got it. Okay. Well, with every, uh, there are so many card tricks that you can mix and you can have them in a certain order, right? Sure. Okay, well, how many times would you want me to mix the deck up? Uh, seventy-eight. I'm kidding, dude. Let's do. Uh, let's do three. Three. Okay. We're gonna do one, two, and we'll do one more of these. Are you satisfied with it? Yes. Okay. Well, like I said. You can cause any card to come to any position you want. Okay. I wanted to control it to the top. Okay. So instantly I know that that's your card. No. Boo. That, it's not. No. Oh. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry that was your card. I, obviously, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought that was the card. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I messed it that up. That was good. That was because, like. There's not about the handling there that I really enjoyed. I thought it was really clean. Good job, man. I, I, that's the one trick I created myself. Uh, I was just messing around, and that's what I created. That looked great. Yes, we got some beat. We got some fans, Manuel. Check it out, buddy. Triple Smasher thinks your magic is great. Thank you. Good job, Manuel. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. I'm going to we're gonna say bye to Manuel. Thank you for that, Manuel. That was awesome. Bye. Um, guys, this has been fun. I'm gonna show you guys one last thing. We're we're nearing the end. This was fun. Uh again, we've kicked some very useless people off the chat and off the channel. We don't need those toxic people. So thanks for that. Thanks for sticking around to see some cool stuff. The tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I will probably do another video at some point where I do the tutorial for the post-it trick, you know, in a little bit more detail, but you guys saw it today. So you guys get a head start on that over everybody else. I'm going to show you guys one last thing before we go. This is a coin trick. I know I, I just wanted to do it. It's like, I wanted to do a coin trick because I never do coin tricks, but I secretly like practice them, but I never perform them. And I'm doing this as a sign to you guys to say, um, sometimes you're not comfortable or you're not ready or you're not 100% sure you got it down, but it's okay because, you know, especially like this, when we're in our own community here on YouTube, uh, it's okay. You know, sometimes we do stuff and sometimes we're going to mess it up. So I'm going to do that. Actually, let's see if Harsh got his mic sorted out because I did promise he could come back. Oh, I think he's going in and I don't know. I guess he left. Okay, that's fine. Um, so... I'm going to show you guys this coin thing and, and I might mess it up because like, as you guys know, professionally, I'm a mentalist. So this might be a disaster, but thanks for being here today, guys. I really do appreciate that. Let's try this. I'm going to stand up a little bit for this because I want you guys to see it on the table. So uh, this is done with 
<laughs> here we go. Here goes nothing. Spidey doing card tricks. This might be the most embarrassing thing the world has ever known. Uh, so I'll move the mic like that. So these are three coins. I'm going to put them. I'm going to lay them out here so you guys could see them. That's a silver one. That's an English penny. It's copper on both sides. And that's a Mexican centavo, which is also copper on both sides. Silver, copper, copper. And I want you guys to see. This usually I would let you examine it. But there's nothing else in there. So, oh, I can't do this sitting down. What was I thinking? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all three away. Over here. So this is going to be a series of questions. The first question is a very simple one. How many coins are there? And I know you guys know the answer because uh, it's a silly question. It's it's three of them. One, two, three. And you saw that. We're inside the purse. I'll leave the purse over here. This is like doing some shin limb stuff here. It's black on black. Um, three coins. I know you know that. But the reason I ask is because I want you to remember very clearly that there were and are three coins. And as long as my hands stay in frame, I can't add anything or take anything away. Three coins is what we're going to use. So we're going to start with the first one. That's the Mexican cent. That's going to go in the hand like that. Then we have the English penny. That is the uh, second one. That's copper as well. And the last one is the American silver dollar. That's going to go on top of the hand. All three coins inside the hand like that. Watch carefully. All three coins inside the hand. If I just squeeze like this. I'm going to make the copper ones totally disappear. And we're left with, oopsie, only one silver American coin. That's it. The other two are gone. But that's not so impossible. This is impossible. Right here in the air. If I just catch it, the content of my hand is impossible. Because you know there are only three coins. And you know that the American one, the silver one, is over here. And that's why this is impossible. Because if the American coin is here, it can't be there. But those can. Let's try it again. Three coins. Mexican. I didn't drop anything. Some people are saying that I dropped. There's no back palm. There's no dropping. Stop guessing random things, guys. I don't drop anything off frame. Two in the hand, and three. That's so awkward to do it this way. American coin, no back palms. Come on, how could you say back palm? Do you not know what that's supposed to look like? Three coins in the hands, watch. No clips, no drops. If I do this again, actually, you know what? We'll do it a little differently this time. We'll take one of the coins, the American one, we'll put away in the pocket like that. You can see it going in the pocket. And the other two are now gone. And I mean actually gone, completely gone. I don't even have sleeves. But they're not gone, gone. Nothing ever disappears. It goes back to where it came. Right inside the purse where it all started. One, two, three coins. Show my thumb. I don't know why I would show my thumb. There's nothing wrong with my thumb. Um, there it was, guys, a little coin thing I've been working on. It's actually one of mine. I know I'm not known for my coin work, but that's one of mine. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. So that was it for the live stream, guys. I hope you guys had some fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, you know, stick around, leave some comments. Let me know what you thought of the stream. I'm probably going to do a tutorial soon. I've got a couple of really good things coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the variation on the envelope trick without the gimmick. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it all over again. Besides that, thanks for being here. We'll do this again sometime. Show pockets. Show, come on, guys. Like, these guesses are ridiculous. Nothing there. I mean, I don't know if you want to see my left one. I don't know. What the hell do you... How, how would I have put anything in my pockets? When would I have put anything in my pockets? Empty. Yeah, nothing in the pockets. Um, all right, guys. That was it. Thank you so much. Peace.